Nearly 60 people have lost their lives due to prolonged rainfall and flooding. This year alone, more than 2.3 billion people will face water scarcity, including 160 million children. Drought, swarms of locusts, and soaring food and fuel prices means 6 million more people will fall into hunger in the coming weeks. Millions of people in Africa still lack access to electricity. Today, the capital of Ghana, Accra, was hit by a terrible flood. Net zero cannot be achieved with zero financing. The bank is working to establish an African just energy transition facility that will support transition from coal and heavy fuel oil into clean energy. However, Africa will need an energy mix that includes natural gas to ensure stability of Africa's energy systems, to power our industries, and to ensure competitiveness. We must go beyond a just energy transition to a just energy system. While Africa only accounted for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, the continent bears the brunt of shocks related to climate change and extreme weather events. Africa faces energy poverty and inequality with significant impact on socio-economic development. However, Africa cannot be poor in an environmentally sustainable manner. The continent's energy potential is everywhere. Sun, wind, gas, we need to exploit it. We need to analyze the trade-offs and benefits of a net zero transition in Africa and make policy recommendations for a just transition towards a resilient, inclusive and greener Africa in the coming decades. We owe it to the continent to find a reasonable, fair and equitable way of building an energy transition toward a net zero emission. We want climate resilience and just transitions. Yes, we want a net zero carbon pathway for African development.